Hi I'm Sally, if you're watching this you probably got same problem. This is the problem, rear speaker just became front speaker, and the front panel speaker turned into speaker out. We already tried this, going to device manager, and uninstalling all audio drivers, including NVIDIA and monitor drivers. Not only that but we also used this uninstaller to remove all registries. Also Windows Audio Troubleshooter was not able to fix this. We then tried Windows 10 Factory Reset, but keeping all the files. This still didn't work as the problem is very hard hidden, we wasted half a day trying to fix this. There's some conflict with front panel and the rear panel and only solution will be to reinstall Windows from zero. But until then we found this workaround, to make front headphones, rear headphones and speakers working all together. So first in advanced device settings we separated all inputs as we show you here. Now in Realtek, HD Audio Manager, if you go to connector settings you may also want to disable front panel jack detection, to stop annoying jack pop-ups. Our temporary solution is to set, rear headphones as front speakers, PC speakers also as front speakers. You can do this by right-clicking and retasking connectors. If you've got older drivers just don't turn off the pop-up message as I shown you before, you'll still have to manually connect every jack. The front headphones we just let them on headphones, remember this is the second audio output. Now to see all our devices we have to right-click down here and go to sounds. On playback you'll see that both rear panel and front panel are working all together. Monitor is also detected as an audio playback device as it has an audio output, but no jack is connected to it. Just let me change the song to show you the music comes right out from the PC. I will increase the volume a bit because it's time to rock. Now to have all devices working together, we have to set our stereo mix. Just right click and go to properties. Check the box where it says listen to this device, and select second output, in our case the front headphones. Audio Troubleshooter also recommends turning this off, but it won't fix anything. By the way don't run Troubleshooter or it will miss things again. Now the stereo mix has to be set on default. Pick your favorite microphone as default communications device. The speakers also have to be set to default. And set the headphones to communications device. I will show you all the connectors once again. One thing that we didn't try yet, but you could test is connect and monitor through VGA. This is just a temporary fix. So let us know in the comments if you found a better solution for this as we didn't reinstall Windows yet.